I got five on it. Looking up that in the wheel. I got five on it. Oh, uh, after I went back and watched again, I realized I was dumb because the music that was creepy in the trailer was still from that song. Yeah. And so that's kind of well, neat well, that they took that well, song. He the, took that song and made it creepy. The song <laughs> is in a minor chord. So yeah. it's like, do, 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 do. That's like, that's a minor chord. And it, it sounds terrifying. It, it sounds like when it, you take it out of the context of like the hip hop song for sure. Like, oh yeah. And especially if you change up, like instead of it being on like a, like a bell synthesizer or something like that, what they used on the track. And instead you actually like put it on with like violins or a, a, like a, or like a cello core or something yeah, like that. I think that, like that a theater organ or something. Yeah. <laughs> Pipe like, organ. That would be terrifying. Yeah. And I, I love that. I, it's just like Dr. Who, Dr. Who, on guitar sounds like an awesome rock out, but then you hear it on like a piano and it's like, it's like a sense of uncertainty. Yeah. Cause it's like, but you listen to it on the guitar. It's like, yeah, it, how something is played and what, with what something is played changes things up a lot. And I like that Jordan Peele, can warp things around like that and make it into something else entirely. Mm-hmm. And I I'm interested to see what other tricks he's going to pull out of the out of his bag, out of his like little bag of tricks that he's got uh because if it's any indication of what we got with uh Get Out, this is going to be good. Also the fact that he's got Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Elizabeth Moss, he's just got great actors and actresses taking part in this film. And I love it. You I, said something to me earlier, too, about how people are talking about possibly trying to copy his style in terms of horror. It's like he might have started like a horror revolution. I hope so. Yeah, I kind of hope so. Because like horror movies seriously need like... They need a know, kick in the ass. Yeah, like <laughs> a little bit of a fire lit under them, so to speak. Well, I think the entire movie industry needs that because some of the stuff in yeah. the movie industry is just stupid, man. It's so stupid. And the reason why they say they do it is because, oh, well, we just want to try and make money to stay profitable. If you wanted to do that, then you give people something they, they haven't seen before, so they'll actually be excited to go to the theater and watch it. Mm-hmm. God, bunch of idiots, man. Uh, horror's like just always been one of my favorite genres, so that's why I want it to succeed and start to be better more than the rest, kind of. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm in the same boat, man, because I've always liked horror films. Always. And I'm... and. The fact that Jordan Peele and also John Krasinski, you know, a bunch of independent people are pushing out these amazing horror films, these amazingly well-crafted and well-designed horror films. I'm so happy about it. I wish I could test my theory. I just want to write someone in Hollywood and be like, you should talk to Tom Segura and uh, Chris (laughs) Porter and Gabriel Iglesias, and you should just be like, hey, you guys ever thought about writing a horror movie? You want to? <laughs> and yeah. see how it turns out. Know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see how more comedians make horror. Because it's, it's been so good so far with these two guys. Hey, and you know what I want? I want people who tell scary stories. On, like, you know, I want, like, uh, Mr. Nightmare to actually, like, make a comedy. Yeah. Just to see how that goes. It'll probably be, like, something really dark, like, real dark comedy. <laughs> They'll just be, and I just hope he doesn't get that one guy chills to do the, like, the narration for it. It's like... And of course, it was at this time that where they found out how everything was going. That I'm like, shut the fuck up. I, I kind of liked chills, but like I did notice his voice kind of gets a little. It gets grating, grating yeah. on you, man. I after watching like two videos, I was just like, I'm done. I'm done. I can't watch anymore because. And I want everyone to know that it's not my fault <laughs> that I sound like I'm constantly constipated and that oh. I have to take a massive shit. Oh. But what? And and also, I feel like I've got icy hot up my asshole. Sorry. The opinions of Nate do not necessarily represent the opinions of me. I like chills. You're cool. You're, you're cool chills. If you see this. I don't have anything against the guy. It's just, come on. Switch up your fucking vocal patterns. Don't sound like you, you're a petrified little, you know, like, don't sound like you're you're freezing to death underneath a fucking 
uh, underneath the fucking lake surface, and no, they like I got a microphone up here. Because this like, is the way I talk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop shivering because that's just the way I talk. Maybe he's just cold all the time. Maybe that's why he's called Shields. Maybe. Maybe he just got chills all the time. Maybe he's buried neck up, like neck deep in ice, and he's just like. I really just, want to come out yeah. of the water, but they keep forcing me to do voiceovers. They keep forcing me to read these stories. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, if they don't keep me frozen here, I'll run away. <laughs> it's like, hey, Chill. Hey, Chills, what does your normal voice sound like? My normal voice sounds like this. Oh, God, put him back under the ice. Yeah, freeze him again. It's like, oh, come on, guys. I really wanted to go out and do something else. <laughs> I just wanted to play some solitaire. Play some solitaire and maybe have some McDonald's. But no offense to children. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I jest. I jest. I'm just fucking I want to see this trailer, man. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. You know how sometimes things line up? All too well. Since we've been up here, they've been happening more and more. It's like there's this black cloud hanging over us. There's a family in our driveway. Hey. Who is that? Oh. Run. Ooh, that's terrifying. What are you people? It's us. Really the heart. Okay. And that's just over a month away. Yeah. So that's gonna be something we watch. It's like I'm so concerned with this trailer that also he's given too much away with the trailer as well. <clears throat> but at the same time, I don't think so because it's, I like, hope... it's just enough to know like you know an idea of what you're in for, and it looks like a crazy fucking ride. But I don't think that like there's gonna be any lack of stuff that we've not seen as well. Well, I'm um, wondering. Like me, I have theories in my head. Me, number one, I think maybe they are. They're clones. Uh, there's something going on. Uh, I I don't know. Like, I don't know either, and that's one, what's like, and that's what's got me in. It's got what's got me tantalized. I'm just like I haven't Ooh. tried to guess because it looks like it could be something actually almost wholly unique. Like it could just be like you know a play on like the doppelganger thing. Like, but maybe like I feel like it's going to be something that's its own thing, and that's why I'm really stoked about it because that's what horror fucking needs. Yeah, horror yeah. needs an injection of new ideas. Yeah, like it needs, like the unknown is a key part of horror. And like once you already know, like you know everything about how to kill a vampire, you know about how to avoid zombies and shoot them in the head, you know? Mm. It's like they become less scary after you know everything about them. Like, you know, with ghosts, you're probably fucked. So they're still kind of scary, but you've seen them so much that like it's got to be real, a real spooky ghost. Yeah. But like, True you know, terrible. the unknown is always going to be scarier than the shit you already know stuff about. That's true. So, that's very true. That's why horror's just been dead for like the past several years is because it's all the same repeats, you know. And like this is what I'm I'm hoping is that he's bringing a revitalization to the horror genre through being like we can do unique things and have unique ideas again. Yes, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. I think that I I want to see this. I want to see what Jordan Peele's going to do. I want to see if he can prove himself and make and like prove everyone that. That Get Out isn't just a flash in the pan. He has interesting stories and interesting ideas that people can really sink their teeth into and come away with a whole new understanding of what horror truly can be. Yeah. I I just, love that Just idea. the fact that I have to say I don't know just makes me all the more stoked about this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm in the same boat, man. Oh. God, because that's like H.P. Lovecraft, you know. It's like, of course, dude. I it's mean, like, it's, if you don't know, it's spookier. Well, dude, that's one awesome. of the pinnacles. Of, that's one of the the pillars of good horror. Mm-hmm. You know, the pillars of good horror. I mean, you know, some have deteriorated over time and have been just like outright destroyed. But that's one that will always be there because 
of people's fear of it because yeah. of people's natural fear of the unknown. And that's one of the major pitfalls know. in a lot of movies is people making way too many things known in horror movies. You know? Well, yeah, and and if you say too much, you take away the the, the mystery and the horror. Well, yeah, you take away the mystery. You take away the yeah. mystery. You pretty much remove everyone's like it's, everyone's sense of sense yeah. of urgency against that's the unknown. Why Ridley Scott killed Alien with Alien Covenant? Uh, that's why I pretend it doesn't exist. What movie? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm glad we're, to see we're at an understanding on that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was. I mean, I want to see this, and it's just about a month away, so. We'll see how things go. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this was the Us Super Bowl uh, trailer. If you want to see more, feel free to click the uh, links in the description down below. Also, don't forget to check out the original video. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And we'll see you then, everybody. Peace out.